think on these five things. Number one, you need the Savior because you are a sinner. In addition to your own experience in the matter of sin, here are several scriptures on the subject. There is no man that sinneth not, 1 Kings 8, 46. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men. For that all have sinned, Romans 5, 12. You need the Savior because you are helpless to save yourself. It is natural to suppose that a person must save himself by his good works, but Christ alone can save. This is a faithful say, saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, 1 Timothy 1.15. For the Son of Man is, not, is come to seek and save that which was lost, Luke 19.10. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins, Matthew 1.21. Number three, you need the Savior because without Him you will perish. There are only two classes and two destinies. One either accepts or refuses the Savior. One is either saved or unsaved. One is either going to heaven or hell. The scriptures say, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 3:36. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Luke 13.3 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Number four, you may have the Savior by accepting him. The Savior accomplished the work that saves when he died for our sins, was buried, and rose again. Now it is a matter of availing oneself of that finished work. But as many as received him, to them gave you power or the right to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, John 1, 12. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, Acts 16, 31. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, Romans 10, 9. Are you now ready and willing to say, knowing myself to be a sinner and knowing that I deserve Nothing but God's judgment against my sins. I heartily receive the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and sincerely confess Him as my Lord. Now that the Savior is yours, love, worship, and serve Him. You cannot work to save yourself, for salvation is not a works lest any man should boast, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. But now that you are saved, you should be careful to maintain good works. Titus 3, 8. You may show your faith in Christ by your works. Be a good, godly, consistent, and fruitful Christian. The following scriptures will help you to that end. Praise. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34, 1. Prayer. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke 18, 1. Study. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 Fellowship, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. Hebrews 10.25 Testimony, my tongue shall speak of thy word. Psalm 119.172